it is probably wrong. It may be great information. Lake Erie is, or Erie is on Lake Erie. Okay. Does that have anything to do with being free? Not really. You might be able to say, because Erie, you know, Erie is on Lake Erie, we can drive or we can walk, we can take the bus to the beach. You know, you can tie in an idea that it's free. But you have to show that relationship. It's not there automatically. And that's what writing is. In your head, you understand that relationship. In writing, you can't have the relationship up here. The relationship has to be on paper because the person reading it probably will not have the same information as you. So you have to make sure the relationship between all the subtopics, all the details, the introduction, subtopics, main ideas, main topic, all of those talk about the same things. Okay? When I was young, I had a bicycle. Um, I love bicycles. Are those two ideas related? Okay, we're talking about bicycles. But the first sentence says, when I was young, I had a bicycle. That's talking about past. I love bicycles. That's talking about now. In my head, yes, it's a con, you know, I, the relationship is there. But if I'm telling that to somebody, or somebody's reading a story I've written, they don't have my memories connecting those two ideas. So as a writer, it is your job to connect those ideas. Have you ever read something you just didn't understand? And it wasn't because of the language. I mean, have you read something in your language that you're like, what? You know, I understand all the words, but I just don't get the idea? Okay. That's what bad writing is. Bad writing... For our, what we're concerned about here is not grammar, it's not spelling. Bad writing is bad relationships between ideas. And so you constantly want to check yourself. Every time you write something new, ask yourself, does this sentence talk about what I'm supposed to be talking about? If no, change it or throw it out. Those are your only options. Add the relationship. You know, in your head, you have the relationship, but you have to be able to explain it using pen and paper. If you can't, you can't use it. You can't use it. Now, this will take a long time. Um, did you do a lot of writing in your first language? Did you ever do a lot of writing in Ampatic? You did? You did a lot of writing? Did you do? I would say 95% of any language, most of the people only speak it. I mean, they can write it. They can write sentences. They can write words. But when was the last time, apart from class, <laughs> that you actually wrote a sentence? You know, Facebook is interesting. Because Facebook, we have to write what we are thinking. We can't just talk. I mean, it's a conversation in that people are communicating, but I'm not there. I'm not, you know, looking at somebody. So when I type, I have to put all my ideas into words. And that's why a lot of people get angry on Facebook. Because we only have the words to judge. We don't have how the person says it. And that's so important. When you're talking to somebody, you know, if I say hello, what does that mean? If I say hello, what does that mean? Does it mean, I mean if, I, if someone says hello to you, what does that mean? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Someone says hello! Does that mean the same thing? No, the way we say things changes the meaning. So that's why this is so difficult. Okay. So, in the introduction, you have to have your topic sentence and your subtopics. Okay, you're just going to introduce them. Um, I would say do one sentence for each subtopic. Okay. Um, what was your first subtopic for three things to do? 
Okay. Um, you know, uh, Lake Erie. Um, and when you're thinking about lake, are you talking about th actually the lake, or are you talking about the beach? So what are you going to do on the lake? Okay. All right. So, um, you know, you can go boating on the lake. Okay, what's your second one? Okay. Um, and again, you're going to have to make sure the idea of free, you know, um, you know, if, if you have a boat, <laughs> that's not free, that's very expensive, but if you have a boat, you know, the lake, you know, you can put your boat in the lake for free. Um, the library is free. You know, the library has lots of books to lend for free. And the last thing was the, the zoo is free on Sundays. Okay. So you would put those sentences in your introduction. You put those, you, so you put this, your topic sentence, and then your subtopics in your introduction. Then, you go to your first subtopic, and your first subtopic was about the lake. You're going to say almost, almost the same thing that you said in the introduction. Same idea, different words. Same idea, different words. You can't just say, you know, the lake is a great place for free activity. You know, whatever you say in the introduction. You can't repeat it exactly, the words, in the subtopic when you introduce it. You have to use the same idea, different words. Okay? And the same is true going to be for subtopic number two, which is going to be your third paragraph. The first sentence of your third paragraph is going to be similar to the sentence in the introduction, but not the same. You're going to be saying the same ideas using different words. Same idea using different words. Okay? And then for subtopic number three, you're going to use the same idea. Okay? So that gives us four of the five paragraphs. What do we do in the last paragraph? Conclusion. Okay. What are we going to put in the conclusion? What are we going to put in the conclusion? Any idea? We have two things in the conclusion. In you know, sentence four, um, to talk about the whole idea and put your own comments or suggestions. Unless it is talking about that, you don't put it in. No, the same issue uh, is to put your own. Suggestion, personal view of whether it can be. Well, um, it depends on the type of essay. This is an opinion essay. This is your opinion. So you don't have to prove anything. Because everybody is entitled to their opinion. Your opinion is, you know, whether you like it or not. Do you like coffee? Do you like coffee? That, that's wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> Coffee is terrible. Can I do that? Mm. Well, somebody says they like something. You can't say, well, that's dumb. You know, that's stupid. <laughs> Everybody has their opinion. I like Erie is strictly an opinion. So you don't have to prove your point. You want to. You want to give enough evidence to make the person, the audience, remember your audience, you want to give enough information 
that they feel the same way you do. Okay? So if you like here because there are free things to do, you have to give me enough evidence that there are enough free things to do. You know, what free things can you do on the lake? Okay. What free things are there to do um, at the library? What free things are there to do at the zoo? Why is that a good thing? Okay. So that's where your proof comes in. You know, 